Good morning everyone. Hope you guys are all having a blessed week. Well guys, it's December and whenever December rolls around, my world goes into total disarray. The first thing is my wife wants me to get up in the rafters and bring down all the Christmas stuff. You know, all the trees, decorations, everything. There's barely enough room in my garage for me to function. I literally had to clear out a spot right here just so we could film. So that's got me in disarray. And then not only that, listen, because it's uh, cold and rainy, I can't go out on my kayak enough or ride my bike. So my wife and daughter, they, they feel that I need to go to the gym three days a week. So I've been going, I'm sore all over, but I figure I should be looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger here any day now. So listen, I wanted to do a quick video on something that has always bothered me. You ever wonder what you're going to remember in heaven? What you're going to remember, but, but worse than that, is what you won't remember. Will anything be removed from your memory? Because in heaven, it seems like only happy memories could be there. There could not be anything there that's going to make you sad. And what about those friends and relatives that didn't make it? Certainly, you can't be sitting there thinking about them all the time. However, if you wind up in hell, then every memory will be there. There won't be anything missing. Every word you ever uttered, every person you ever knew, those that went to heaven, those that are with you in hell, every sin, every single thing will be in your recollection. And we know that because of the story of the rich man and Lazarus. And you, know all, you all know the story. There was a rich man that had everything life had to offer. And then there was a beggar named Lazarus that they used to come and sit just right outside of his gate. And this guy was so bad off he couldn't even move. The dogs literally came and licked his sores. Well, never, not one time in this guy's life did he ever look down and say, hey guys, you know what, we got plenty left over. Somebody fix Lazarus a big plate and take it out there to him. He never said that. So all of a sudden, Lazarus dies and the rich man dies. And then remember, the rich man lifted up his eyes in hell. And all of a sudden, he realized he was in torment. He knew exactly where he was and he also knew he was in torment. And then he looked across and he saw Abraham. Well, he never met Abraham, but yet he knew that it was Abraham. And he recognized Lazarus and knew that Lazarus was there. And he asked Abraham to let Lazarus dip, dip his finger in some cool water and come cool his tongue. So he knew everything. He knew who he was. He said, Father Abraham, send Lazarus to my house. I got five brothers. I don't want them to come here. So he remembered everything. He knew who he was. He knew who Lazarus was. He, he remembered his past life. He knew he had five brothers. He knew everything. People, you know what I've always thought? My past torments me now. I think of people I've hurt, things I've said, things I've done. I mean, we, all, we can all look back at our life and love to go back and change everything. And I've got a feeling that just remembering all the stuff that you've ever done wrong, that, that is hell within itself, let alone being in the fires of hell and having to think about all that at the same time. So guys, listen, it used to bother me because I would think that I don't want to forget anything. I mean, this is my life. It's who I am. All my memories, good and bad, it makes up who I am. But yet, on the other hand, I'm tormented by some of those memories, by things I've done, people I've hurt. So I've, I've always been uneasy about that. But you know what I finally came to the conclusion? I finally came to the conclusion that I'm going to just leave it all in God's hands. When we get to heaven and we're living in the, the, the new Jerusalem and we're going to be coming down on the earth for a few years, guys, when you're doing all that, love, pure joy, pure peace is going to be upon you. It's going to be an existence of love, joy, and peace. And you can't be remembering your mom or your dad or your sister or your brother that's frying in hell. 
So I've decided I'm just going to leave it up to God. God knows what's best. People listen. I've had no problem screwing up my life my whole life. I'm my own worst enemy. And leave it up to me and I'll probably screw up heaven too. So I'm going to leave it in God's hands. And I'm going to let him remove all the memories that shouldn't be there. And leave all the ones that should. I'm just going to have to leave it in his hands. This is what it says in Proverbs 21 too. Every man's way is right in his own eyes, but the Lord ponders the heart. Guys, God created you to be this one individual. He's going to give you a white stone with your name on it. You're going to go, yeah, that's me. God knows best. He has a job, a position, a place in heaven, a mansion. Everything is created just for you. You're created for it. It's created for you. And it's going to be perfect. So you have to let God be in charge of what you're going to remember and what you're not. You cannot enjoy eternity if you have bad thoughts in your head. You can't enjoy eternity remembering who you hurt, things you did. Can't be done. So guys, listen. Don't worry about it. All you can do right now is while you're here is to make sure that everybody you love, everybody you know, friends, relatives, everybody, you just keep preaching the gospel. Just keep telling them about Jesus. Because listen, they have free will just like you do. You can pray for them. You can give them the word. But you cannot make them come to the Lord Jesus Christ if they don't want to. And people listen. As long as you've told everyone and you keep harping on it, then when you get to heaven and if something happens they didn't, at least you'll know I did all I can do. Guys, listen. Eternity, it's almost here. It is almost here. This world's almost done. We are so, we're not just living in the end times. We are at the end of the end times. Don't forget, guys, listen. This war in Israel right now, it, it is not letting up. And I believe it could very well be the Psalms 83 war, followed by Ezekiel 38, 39 people. Keep stocking up on food. I'm not going to quit harping on that. Every time you go to the grocery store, you grab a bag of a rice, a bag of beans, a couple of canned goods. Every time you go to the store, you get something. You keep stocking up on food. All right. Anyhow, listen, when it comes to your memory, things you're going to remember, things you're not when you get to heaven, we're going to have to leave that in God's hands. Because trust me, He knows better than we do. You know, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.